This is the video review for Transformers Beast Wars Razor Claw. Now, this actually isn't the original Razor Claw. This is actually a Razor Claw that was released with a video cassette tape of, I think, the ending of the first season of Beast Wars. I, I'll be honest, I don't have the tape anymore. Still have the figure. As you can see, he is a crab. Um, I can't remember what kind of crab this is. Maybe a Hercules crab or something like that, but it's the one with the one big giant claw, one little claw. Oh well. Uh, the crab mode is nice and bright. You've got this this red, this maroon, and this orange, and this, I guess, turquoise color. It's actually pretty nifty. Uh, it's definitely different from his original, which was uh, kind of this weird silver and blue, and I, I just find this more appealing. Now, I picked this guy up over Air Razor, and I kind of regret it simply because I've never even seen Air Razor sold, except for that one time. But, all in all, he's pretty cool. And the crab mode is... I, I kind of I dig it. It's not perfect, but I kind of dig it. Now, I've seen the direct, some directions where you're supposed to just leave these like that, but I actually like to have them interlock, either like that or like that. That's just me. So let's go ahead and transform this scout figure. We're going to turn him over, and as you can see, it's not that going to be that difficult. We'll take this flap from under here and just fold that out. That will allow us to fold the legs down. And then we'll come around the back and pull the shell open thusly. That will allow us to take the robot or the crab legs and just put them straight back like that. Then we'll put the arms down, pull out the head, which doesn't take much effort whatsoever. Now, each of the claws is something different. This claw opens up to reveal a blaster. This claw opens up to reveal um, stabby things. Yeah, that'll work, stabby things. And there we go. Uh, the teal is obviously much more, or I'm sorry, turquoise is obviously much more pronounced in, in this mode. Unfortunately, he is kind of limited by posability on the legs simply because of this little bit of plastic keeps the legs from kind of really doing much or turning to the side at all. But that's okay. I can forgive it. It's only a little scout class figure, so it's not that awful. He is a little bit top heavy, so what I like to do is just put his legs, his crab legs, directly on his back like that. And his head, as you can see, keeps falling into the body. But, eh. Oh well. Uh, he's not a great figure. I, I really can't recommend him. Also, these screw holes here are just ugly. And considering where this screw hole is, um, yeah. Anyway, the, there are some positives, though. The detailing on the crab parts and underneath the shell, it, the detailing on, these, on this figure is phenomenal. I mean, you've got texture here. You've got different textures all over the figure, which is awesome. The paint is really nice. I mean, it's held up really well over these past 15 years. And, I don't know, he kind of looks pretty cool. But I can't recommend the figure. It just... It's only okay. It's not great. It does have some posability problems. The crab mode's cool, but there's a lot of robot kibble. And it's... The figure is just okay. There are a lot of better figures out there. But if you need a crab figure, and it's got to be basic class, you know where it'll go. <laughs> I think you know where to go.